In today's video, we are going to go over a series of split stance activities. Split stance is basically just any exercise where your legs are staggered or one foot's in front of the other one, one leg is in front of the other one. Now, there's two reasons for this. One is it's a great way to strengthen the muscles around your hips, but also it is functional. So for some of you who feel like you limp and maybe you can't really identify why, sometimes, not all the time, but sometimes it's just because your legs are not used to being in this position as you load one leg. So for example, if you have an involved leg and this is your involved leg, maybe you've gotten really good at working on single leg standing, but when you're actually walking, this leg is actually behind you a little bit. So it's actually behind the leg that you're trying to load or maybe the weaker leg, and we don't practice that a lot. So I thought I would just give a ton of different variations of how you can incorporate a split stance activity into your workout to improve your walking and improve your overall strength. If you're new to this channel, I'm Tara. I'm a neurologic physical therapist. And on this channel, we talk about anything and everything related to mobility, health, fitness, and mindset in the context of neurologic injury with the end goal of empowering you with as many tools as possible to take ownership of your rehab and your health to live an overall more active, more mobile, pain-free, happier, healthier life. And now before we dive into the exercises, as has been the case recently, there will be a handout that has pictures and descriptions of all the exercises that we go through in today's video so that you can easily incorporate them into your exercise routine without having to continue to come back to this video. In addition to that, I will put timestamps of all the exercises in the description below so that when you do come back to this video, you can just go to the specific exercise that correlates with the exercise on the handout if you need to review that exercise. And now with all that out of the way, let's go ahead and dive into today's exercises. All right, so a good place that I like to start is in half kneeling. The reason for that is it kind of takes the knee and the ankle out of the picture so that you can really just focus on isolating that hip muscle. And for this, we're gonna add a little rotation. Okay, so everything we're doing, we're gonna try and combine like an arm and a leg exercise. But also, again, these are very functional because they do kind of carry over into walking because your feet do need, your legs do need to be in these staggered positions. So half kneeling and rotation. All right, now I'm gonna change the arm position a little bit. So I'm gonna give you a little bit of a different variation of something you can do with your arms, but I'm also gonna switch the legs. So remember when we're walking, sometimes the left foot's in front of the right foot, sometimes the right foot's in front of the left foot. So when we do these exercises today, I do encourage you to try and do them on both sides. So now we're gonna kind of put like more of the involved leg up in front and we're gonna do like a karate chop. So try and come down to the outside of this now being the involved leg. And then you're gonna bring the ball or the weight up and over the opposite shoulder, down. So this is putting weight down through this leg and then bringing the arms up and over, down and up and over, down and up and over. All right, now the next leg variation position is you're gonna have one leg down and one leg against the wall. If you can't get, bend your involved leg back like that, just do the other leg. If you can, of course, we're gonna do both legs just like we did with the first exercise, but you are leaning back into that foot. So there's a little bit of pressure on that foot that's on the wall, and then you're gonna add that rotation. Really challenging that front leg. All right, and then switch legs. Now, that one might be hard for some of you, but don't worry, there's gonna be a lot of other variations and I promise you, you're gonna find a couple of exercises in this series that you will be able to do. So just hang in there. 
All right, now for this next split stance one, you're gonna stand with your feet kind of staggered. You're gonna take this weight, take a weight or take something, and you're gonna pass it to your opposite arm and then pass it to your other arm. Pass it between your legs to the other arm. Now you do kind of have a little bit of equal weight on both legs. Pass. 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 And then switch, same thing on the other side. Now stand near a wall, especially if you're, you have difficulty with your balance. It's not, it's not, it is okay to do exercise where you're a little bit off balance, as long as you have kind of safety nets around you. Being a little bit off balance is actually, without falling, is actually how you develop the strength and the muscles to keep you balanced. So just put some protective mechanisms around you and don't be afraid to try things that might be a little bit outside of your comfort zone as long as you have safety nets around you so that you don't fall and pass, and pass, and, and pass, 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 and pass. All right, now for this one, you're gonna step down, rotate, hold it here, step back up. Now, this is a pretty big step, so I recommend that if you do this height, that's okay. Maybe just start with like a two inch step or even start standing on the ground and just stepping forward. But kind of the key to this one is yes, we're working the strength in our hips, but also loading a leg, loading one leg, like first stepping downstairs, or if you lose your balance and you fall onto one leg, being able to load that leg. And then we're just gonna add a little rotation and then back up. So step down, little rotation, back, and back up, and down, rotate, back, and back up. And then of course you wanna switch legs and try and do it with the other leg. Back up. and back up. All right, so for this exercise, we're getting a little bit of momentum involved here, and that just adds another component that might kind of perturb your balance a little bit, make it a little bit harder to maintain that split stance position. So again, we're gonna do this on both legs, but really the key component to this is getting that little bit of momentum, just kind of add, again, it kind of throws you off balance a little bit, adds another kind of challenge. So if you feel like you're kind of muscling it or you're just kind of using like strength, no, this one we're gonna actually use momentum to move it. So let it come down, kind of like throw it up over the opposite shoulder. And then switch, let it come down, throw it up. All right, so again, just another split stance variation, adding a little bit of momentum to that one. All right, so just another split stance variation with another kind of different arm challenge. So this is a medicine ball. You can buy these in different weights. This one's an eight pound ball, but you can buy them five pounds, four pounds. But what it does, it just adds another challenge. It gives you kind of like a dual task or something else to think about, but also like throwing this eight pound ball up and catching it does kind of perturb your balance just a little bit more too. So it does add an additional challenge in this split stance position. So toss it up. And you do wanna do this on both legs. So, and then switch legs. All right, for this next one, this may be challenging for some of you, especially if you've never been sitting on a gym ball before. So if you are nervous about this, just do it against a wall or kind of set the gym ball in between like a couch and a coffee table, something that the ball can't roll too much and that you have something to reach for to um, regain your balance if you happen to lose your balance. 
but being in this position really is a great way to challenge you. And then just sitting on the ball just adds another kind of balance dynamic dimension to it. So same thing, you're gonna do this on both legs, one foot forward, one foot back, knee is off the ground. Uh, and then you're just gonna reach down for the outside of this foot. So really, and then having to push through that foot to throw the weight up over the opposite shoulder, kind of down by this foot, and reach it up and throw it over the opposite shoulder. Again, learning how to load this leg and really just push through this leg with your leg in this, that your leg's in a staggered position. All right, and then switch legs down to the outside, up and over. All right, now for this last one, we're just going to get a little bit crazy. And we're going to try and do this standing on these ear pods. So you can add any of the arm um, movements that we've done in the previous exercises. But really, for a lot of you that watch this channel, just standing on these with your feet in a staggered position. I'll put a link for these air pods in the description below. You can stand on them with the dome facing down, or you can flip them over with the dome facing up. This is probably a little bit easier to have the dome facing up to start. And then again, do this in a corner, do it somewhere where you have plenty of walls and you're just gonna stand with your feet in that staggered position on these kind of like air wobbly discs and just see if you can hold it. So if you can master this, it's really gonna just naturally fix a lot of kind of walking confidence problems because this is so challenging. Um, and just getting used to with be having your feet in the staggered position on such an unstable surface will definitely carry over in a positive way into walking. But again, just get your balance, hold on to the walls, and then slowly let go. And just try and hold it. And then if you want, you can add like a little circle with your arms or figure eight just trying to hold that position. And again, wobbling is okay. It's the recovery where you're actually getting stronger. So it's okay to wobble a little bit. And then add the figure eight. All right, now if you made it to the end of this video and you are someone who tries this exercise, and you can do it. I would love for you to come back and leave a comment below. I just wanna know how many people watch these videos are getting to that point where they're a little bit higher level. So if you mastered it, be proud of yourself and shout it out. Leave a comment saying that you mastered standing on these AirPods with your feet in a staggered position. Uh, and then that is it for this video. I hope you guys found this video helpful. Don't forget, link to get access to the handout is in the description below, as well as links for all of the products that we used in today's video. Those are also in the description below. If you're new to this channel and you like this kind of content and you haven't yet subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and turn on that notification bell so that you'll get notified every time I upload new videos. If you wanna get exercises throughout the week, you can head on over to Instagram where I post one to two videos every single week just to add a little bit of variety to your home exercise program. And they're usually exercises that are not here on YouTube, so it'd be good for you to follow over there as well. If you want to go a little bit deeper, I would encourage you to join our gold monthly program. With your membership, you will get access to over 400 exercises that I use with my patients that I see in person. You will get access to the entire library as well as access to our Discord channel where you can interact with other members and also post questions and I hop in there a few times a week and answer your questions over there as well as access to our monthly lives where you can submit questions in advance and I answer those questions live with all of the members once a month. So to learn more about our Gold Monthly Membership Program and to sign up, you can visit rehabhyphenhq.com. Also, the link for that is in the description below. I enjoyed spending time with you all today, and I'll see you in the next video. Have a good day.